Relentless, I think, is a good word. I, the dean's not uh, on any longer. Relentless is probably a good word. Thank you all so much for coming today. Uh, this has been my um, passion for the last three years, and it just gives me no greater pleasure than to share it with you, the world, and certainly uh, the field of transplantation, where I think we can make a big splash. Um, we did something pretty special, and this was done through a huge collaborative effort with the University of Maryland School of Medicine, the Medical Center, the UAS test site, the University of Maryland College Park, MDC, some of our private collaborators, Excella, Baltimore City Police, Baltimore City Fire, Baltimore City Emergency Services, Helipad Services, Syscom, surgeons, nurses, pilots, and our laboratory. There were more than 100 individuals associated with this one particular flight, and I'd like to give a round of applause to all of those people who are not here. Working together as a team, we came together and we flew a human organ transplantable 2.8 miles between its launch site, proximate to the Living Legacy Foundation, to the helipad at the Shock Trauma Center at the University of Maryland. It landed autonomously, it was safely recovered, and then it was transplanted safely into our patient who's doing wonderful. And she's not here with us today, she's recovering from an organ transplant. Um, and uh, although excited, today's a little overwhelming, but she's doing wonderful and she certainly sends her regards. Uh, we accomplished a lot of firsts, okay? This is the first design and construction of an organ drone. The first FAA approval to fly an organ by drone. The first substantial drone payload of non-organ medical materials delivered to a hospital. The first use of a comprehensive organ monitoring system. The first use of a drone to fly a transplantable organ. And the first ever transplant of an organ shipped by drone. But What's, what I think is probably coolest, as a lifelong musician and lover of music, this organ launched to Elton John's Rocket Man. It landed to U2's A Beautiful Day, and we observed the drone from the helipad listening to Jimi Hendrix's All Along the Watchtower, some of my favorites. <laughs> organ transportation is broken, and ever since my day as a fellow at the University of Wisconsin, traveling all around the country to pick up organs, I have realized this. The system is broken, and it needs to be fixed. It takes too long, it is unsafe, and it is way too expensive. This is a time and an era where Elon Musk is taking us to Mars, okay? Martine Rothblatt is spearheading xenotransplantation, the use of pig organs in people. We have self-driving electric cars to avoid traffic, and we have Bansky and Longshore redefining what it means to be an artist. By the same token, it just took me 29 hours, 29 hours, to move a kidney from Alabama to Baltimore. That's a life-saving organ transplant. The system is broken. In my opinion, medicine has become siloed from all of these beautiful innovations which are right in front of us. We can touch them, we can use them, and we can implement them to these systems to improve patient care. It's time to adapt, and I think what you've seen today is that it, it's, it's started. And we're gonna, try, we're gonna try and we're gonna move forward, and we're gonna do a good job with that. We are breaking the status quo. I do not accept that what we have right now in 2019 is the best that we can do. I am an inherently impatient person, <laughs> if that has not already come across, and I don't like sitting around for things to just get better and get faster. I think we need to be part of the solution. It is incumbent upon us at the University of Maryland School of Medicine, at the Medical Center. We are absolutely committed to doing that. This project was highly ambitious, and it should have failed, okay? It was likely to fail, and frankly, a whole bunch of people told me it would fail. But we didn't. We were able to accomplish something really special, and I think that's for two reasons, some of which you've heard about today. One is teamwork, and the second one is vision. In my mind, everyone got it right. And the reality is, if you don't want to fail, then don't. And we didn't. All right? Organ transportation is a highly controversial topic. Why? Transportation in, uh, in, in the world of organ transplantation is um, going, through a, it's going through an evolution. Organ allocation systems are changing. There is a greater need every day to move organs and to move them faster. With understanding immunology now and realizing that the best donor for a particular recipient may be a thousand miles away, we are moving organs requiring more resources over larger distances, and that process is no longer going to be sustainable. Technologies like the one that you see here today are going to be required if we're gonna, be, uh, if we're gonna head into the next decade. 